So I just want to start out this video by saying that, you know, I'm on social media probably a lot more than I really need to be. And But anyway, I've been getting a lot of videos across all my feed, basically talking about men's mental health, how men are neglected, and so on and so forth. And I'm not discrediting that. But there seems like, in my short little experience and what I've read and what I've heard other people talk about, when it comes to people's mental health, men and women, it seems like there's two main ways that uh, people can go about it, you know, besides just, you know, obviously going to therapy and seeing a counselor. The first one is, if you're so lonely, you probably need to reach out and talk to people. Find some kind of community, some kind of network, whether it's a book club or going to the gym, just something. But you need to get out of your own head and get out and talk to people. That's if you're feeling really super lonely. And the other main way I've seen it, I would say this way is the most important way, is this. If you feel like the world is just being too much to you right now, the, the life is just being really rough, you need to get out in nature and disappear for a while. And preferably stay off your phone. You know, I don't know if you're Christian at all or if you even read the Bible, but there's one big thing I've noticed about a lot of the big names in the Bible, like Moses, Paul, and Jesus himself. They would all go out into the wilderness and they'd just disappear by themselves, just them and nature. And it's when you are truly alone and you have no distractions in front of you, especially phones nowadays, that's when you really have to look down to yourself and where your thoughts really start churning about who you are as an individual, what you stand on, what your beliefs are, and what's really important to you. Now, I do hope that you come to realize that God truly does love you more than you or anyone else could ever love you. Especially, you know, it's very hard to love yourself. God loves you more than anything else. And that can empower you to do pretty much anything. But with that being said, those, in my experience, seem to be the two main ways for people to help get them out of the slump. They either need to go out and interact with other people, see things, or they need to get away from people and just be by themselves and do some real serious self-reflection. Most people that I've come to notice in my small circle is they're constantly trying to be distracted by something or by someone. Some people cannot be comfortable by themselves and not by yourself on your phone, doom scrolling through social media. I'm talking about by yourself. There are no distractions to where you have to sit there with your thoughts. That is a very hard thing for people to do. But I do believe it's something that everyone does need to go through if they truly want to actually start healing. With that being said, I hope this message reached out to y'all and always remember to live your best life.